welcome to Ask the Doulas with Gold Coast Doulas. I'm Kristen, co-owner, and we have a special guest with us today. Dr. Rachel again. Hi, me again. Our friend and neighbor from down the hallway. With the Rise Chiropractic. Yes. Um, We wanted to ask you, because we get asked by a lot of clients, right? Like, what do you pack in a birth bag? Yes. So we wanted to know what you packed um, and maybe you'd have some advice for some parents who are sure. thinking about this. What to pack, what not to pack. Did you pack anything that you wish yeah. you wouldn't have? Yeah, I feel like I left the hospital with way too much when I left, so I feel I did pack too much, yes. That's pretty common. Uh-huh. Yeah, you read those things online, what to pack, and then I don't think you need most of it because the hospital has a lot, honestly. Like what? Give us some examples. They have diapers. They have slippers for you. They have mesh underwear. (laughs) (laughs) They have the pads. Well, I saw that on one today when I was trying to remember. I was like, you don't need any of that stuff. The mesh underwear is awesome. Yes, it is awesome. Take it home with you. Yeah, the bottle. They have, I mean, everything you need for baby. And you really, it's just, I think, more about comfort. And the biggest thing is for clients who are um, specific about natural products for themselves and for baby, then that would be something that they would want to pack because the products um, at most hospitals wouldn't necessarily be considered natural. I only remember the butt cream, maybe? Yeah, I'm 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 trying to think. They had nipple cream. And shampoo. The lanolin. Yeah, the lanolin. Used to be Johnson & Johnson. I think they still have like that in there. in the shower, you mean? I don't know. No, I was for tr- baby's bath. I, don't, oh, I didn't right. bathe my babies there. Was I supposed to? Did I bathe you my don't babies need there? To. I don't think I don't you remember. Did. I, was I think sponge bath. Oh, I think the nurses did that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the nurses did that. Um, but I was also trying to remember, did they have shampoo and stuff? Because I did take, you do, I think showering. You mm-hmm. want to shower? Yeah, they have the small bottles I couldn't remember if I brought my own or I not. So, I showered in the hospital. I did. It was difficult. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I think was, I waited until I got home. I showered the last day. I showered, um, but I extended my stay because my daughter was in the NICU. Okay. And I remember being in the shower and looking down and being used to my belly and seeing the, the in-between stage, and, and that, that was a little dramatic. Yeah, I looked to, nine months pregnant. To experience I looked that. 100 weeks pregnant before you that. <laughs> I looked, I mean, nine, not nine weeks, nine months. I was like, oh, I still, okay, this is what well, normal. you were carrying, too. Yeah. Right. Um, so maybe a nice thing after, I was thinking a robe might be nice. Yeah, a robe is really cozy. I didn't have one. Especially if you get cold. If you yeah. Get cold all the time. You don't yeah. need it during labor, but in the yeah. postpartum time? Yes, I'm thinking postpartum like, time, a robe. Yeah, or your own PJs. And I really liked, well, I literally was in my hospital gown the whole time until I left. Yeah. But um, the breastfeeding tank tops, mm-hmm. I think that's a good thing Or a nursing bring. bra, depending on your size. Yeah. Some women think. can do tanks. That's true, that's true. But like, if you're going to have people come visit, you might want to get in normal clothes. I didn't care, apparently. Yeah. It's like, what up? I was in a scary gown. Um, I brought, which I really liked, was the swaddles for the babies. Because I think we were there two nights. Yeah, I feel like you and were. So I like didn't, a sleep sack? Like, like, mm, like yeah, like the, swaddle the actually blanket. swaddle. Well, I brought swaddling, like, muslin blankets, but I also brought the ones that I had bought with, like, Velcro. And I like that instead of just using the hospital blanket that they give you. Found yeah. it well, easier. Those are kind of small too. Yeah, so I did like that. I had brought that, and I don't think I saw that on a list ever. So that, and I actually brought more than just one baby outfit. I didn't just leave my babies in there, and they pooped through them. So we went through a couple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they do that. <laughs> yeah. And that meconium is yes. uh, pretty interesting. Yes. Oh, and a pregnancy. I brought my pregnancy pillow for. Wow. For sleeping? For sleep. Like, when, you know, I got induced, and so I used it all during that time yeah. while, I went, while I was in the hospital bed. That's and I idea. highly recommend that to patients ever when they go. I'm like, if you have that pregnancy pillow, bring it with you. It was, like, the best thing I did. Mm-hmm. That. Or your own pillow from home? Yeah, or With your own, your own smell, like your pillowcase? Yeah. So that, that gives clients some comfort. Well, and I'm weird about pillows, too. I yeah. like my own pillow. I like them a certain way. Yeah. I like to have two of them. Totally. Did you bring your pillows? Thickness? I didn't. I didn't even think about but it. But you wish you would have, didn't you? I don't even remember. I see. I think I there was no pillows for Adam, so he, I think he ended up using my pregnancy pillow then Aww. when he slept on like the couch. And yeah. I brought a blanket for him, so those were good. There was really nothing for him. 
I mean, maybe we could have asked. I don't know. Snacks. Yeah. Did he bring his own snacks? Well, or I did... brought snacks for him, yes. Yeah. Of lots course of snacks, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Lots and lots of snacks. Yeah. Preparation. <laughs> yeah, I brought snacks. Yeah, he got like a burrito too while well, I got nothing. Um, oh. That's the worst part. I being know. Being able to eat, being hangry and yes. being in labor. I brought my um, breastfeeding pillow also. The breast mm-hmm. friend pillow. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's nice. I like that brand. Which was nice. And then having the lactation consultant there. You yes. have that. Highly recommend also. asking, even mm-hmm. if you feel like breastfeeding is going great, to get that extra support while you're in the hospital from a lactation consultant. It's fantastic. Yeah. And I had to leave the hospital with no shoes because my feet were so swollen afterwards. So maybe yeah. some slippers or something would be nice. Yeah. Slippers are great for women who want to walk the halls during labor and get out of their room. Mm-hmm. Versus, I mean, those socks are fine. Socks but are the sticky. Yeah, yeah, I think I just... But I like slippers. Yeah. Yeah. Slippers. But yeah, I would think slippers or something. I mean, I don't know if most women... Are most women swollen after I don't remember labor? Mine I think it was just the C-section and all the fluids. The IV not being fluids. Able, and not being able to leave my hospital bed, I think. Yeah. But either way, I was very swollen, so bring some slippers. <laughs> maybe I, Good advice. Maybe I could have left the hospital in shoes then. Headphones? I did the hypnobirthing yes, with that's Ashley helpful, from you guys. For sure. And so I listened to that rainbow relaxation a lot. Yeah. Oh, and you used headphones so everyone else didn't have to listen to it. Mm-hmm. And some people like to bring a speaker and, mm-hmm. you know, have it be out in the open for yeah. everyone. And hypnobirthing, you can be very internal, so I can see why you'd want to bring headphones yeah. and just get in your zone and mm-hmm. so yeah. your headphones affirmations. Or a speaker, depending on... Yeah, or so other people just like music, right? Mm-hmm. Don't they say? Some, so, yeah, yeah, some people make their own labor soundtrack. I did with yeah. my verse. Um, but those and phone charger. Everyone tells you don't forget that. Although I'll be yes. honest, after babies, I don't even think I looked at my phone for <laughs> a very long time. But most people take pictures with their phone, right? So it's not. I mean, for some, it's letting relatives and friends know, mm-hmm. and others, I mean. Unless a we did have to contact you, so and yeah. you need your phone <laughs> for sure. Call your doula. Um, chapstick. That's one mm-hmm. someone will always tell you to bring because you're so. It is. It's true. Mm-hmm. So dry. I think my throat Very was even dry. so dry. I had to have my mom bring like throat things for me, like cough drops. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's. But you know what? I wouldn't bring my straightener and my curling iron. <laughs> I don't know why my friend told me to bring that, but that and makeup, that was not needed, so unless you want a pretty picture taken. Yeah, some people, you know, need to be on Instagram right away and look yeah. perfect after. I think I brought a little bit of makeup, but I, I mean, I had long hair then, so I just pulled it up yeah. in a ponytail and maybe put some blush on and called it a day. Yeah. Ponytail holders mm-hmm. are great. You get yeah. hot and all the hair in your mm-hmm. neck, and to be able to pull your hair up is awesome. That is one thing. I like when I look back at pictures. There's, you know, I'm like on all fours, and my husband's putting wet washcloths yeah. on the back of my yes. neck because I was so hot. Mm-hmm. And to get my hair up on top of my head yeah. and get a washcloth on my neck was amazing. Hmm. Yeah. Anything else that you brought you didn't need? I think Besides, it was. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, yeah, that was not needed. I don't think I brought a lot of clothes because I and I didn't wear any of them because mm. I was literally in my hospital gown. Yeah, you I mean, you need an gown. outfit to go home in. You're still gonna have a big belly, so bring some sort of pants for that. I think I my friend ended up bringing me clothes, and I nice. ended up wearing those home, which was nice. I wore my own clothes at both of my births. I didn't wear the gown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Wore a long skirt. My water broke all over it, and then I was Done. nude for yeah. the rest of my labor. <laughs> yeah. Well, did you wear your gown? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think they had two on me for a long time. One front and one back. And uh-huh. I was wandering the halls and mm-hmm. sitting on yoga balls. And then once the time came, they whipped the one off. <laughs> it was very pretty. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is an experience. Um, I think that was it, though. I was, probably just brought too many clothes and too many hair products. <laughs> yeah, people tend to overpack, mm-hmm. um, but snacks are key. I always say hydration. Yes. For clients who like coconut water, um, that's excellent with electrolytes, or for those who don't, I mean, anything with electrolytes, even Gatorade. Mm-hmm. Um, can be a good option or for those that 
are into labor tea. Um, some women bring it cold to the hospital. Mm. That sounds nice. I'm a fan of honey sticks. Get yeah. a little energy going. Well, they wouldn't let me have anything. Well, yeah, your situation was unique. They wouldn't let me have ice chips. I wish I could have had the snacks I brought. It was good for afterwards. If you end up in the situation where you can't eat your snacks, you can eat them after. Totally. Um, Actually, I remember that's one thing I brought you. You did bring me lots of snacks, yeah. I was like, I needed food afterwards. Yeah, and that was great, because then I even had it at home, though, afterwards. Because then you never eat at a normal time again. Right. Exactly. (laughs) If you're breastfeeding, you can never get enough snacks Mm -hmm. that are in easy reach. You just live off protein bars. Totally. Cheese sticks. Well, maybe not. Most babies don't like dairy. (laughs) Yeah, some babies have issues with dairy. Protein bars. Well, thanks for the advice. That's one of the most common questions I get asked, um, either in consults or in prenatals with clients, is what to pack in the birth bag, what suggestions they have. Obviously, you said, you know, you took hypnobirthing, so for those... um, who are taking hypnobirthing to bring the manual you get in class mm-hmm. is always helpful to be able to refer to that. And sometimes I'll read scripts to my clients. Yeah, I think I must have brought those also. Yeah. I read a lot. Like people were like, bring a magazine to read and stuff. When are you going to read for that? Right? Like, Maybe no, a really long right. induction where yeah. you're there for like three days yeah. trying to yeah get yeah. ripe and all of that. But otherwise? But even then, I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I mean... Also, everyone has their phone, so... Facebook. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Social media brings it to a whole different level. Yeah, so... I wouldn't waste your time with that either. Yeah. Yeah, and some people, again, like, make birth playlists and have it all planned Mm -hmm. out. And with my first, I was induced, so I thought I was going to have more time. It was somewhat quick for an induction, but um, I made a labor playlist and everything had Breathe in it. It was themed. And I also had some local artist friends on my playlist, and I did a slideshow of photos from my wedding on my laptop that I had going when I was in the early stages before Mm. things got intense. Does that help? I liked it. It, You know, it passed the time. I'm not the type to, like, watch movies, but I've had clients watch, like, funny movies on Mm -hmm. TV to pass the time, and they just crack up, and I've seen a lot of movies over the years. Here's what I would say also. If you're close by the hospital, you can, like, send your husband out to go get something you need. Or your doula. Or or your doula, or someone to bring it to you. So I wouldn't really stress too much about a pregnancy bag. Yeah, you can get stuff easy. Or if you have family members kind of lurking in the waiting room, you can send them and give them jobs to do Mm because they love to be helpful, and they can go get food or something you've forgotten but not everyone has that luxury right. of having family or friends nearby right. that's the thing if you do I'm laughing that you would have the time to put together a slideshow that's obviously before your first kid well, right yeah yeah, yeah. When you, when you have all the time in the world to do these beautiful playlists and but I was on bed shows. rest for three weeks so I had a lot of time yeah um, Right, well, I think that's the key point, is you had a lot of extra time. And I knew when I was getting induced. Right. Yeah. So I had right. time. That was like funny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Totally different with my second <laughs> and having a toddler and being pregnant. Yeah. So I didn't bring as much. Anything well, else we need to know? Yeah, what's going on at Rise? Oh, yeah. Any I was to tell you real quick. Yes. Right now at Rise Wellness Chiropractic, we are doing a toy slash clothing slash supply drive for is it degage yes degage ministries Ministries, yeah and if you bring in a supply you can get your exam and consult at no charge and that goes through december 14th if you don't want to be a chiropractic patient you can still just donate if you'd like to yeah we appreciate all the give backs that you do in the community and we love partnering with you on our diaper drives Mm -hmm. so thanks for all you do for the community we love it so if somebody has a toy, they can come in and drop it off, yes. toy or clothes. Yes. Um, and then if they want to drop off a toy and schedule a consult, they should do that online? They can do that online, okay. yes, at risewellnesschiro.com, okay. or they can call the office, Okay. 616-258-8480. But online, you can just schedule yourself. And Rise is located in the same building as we are in East Town, the Kingsley Building. We're right above Tierra Restaurant for those of you who are local and listening in. And you get in through the parking ramp. It's the hardest thing to you can find the building, but you can't find how to get in our in our mm-hmm. office space on the second floor. So look for the little black awning next to the parking ramp mm-hmm. on the corner of Lake and Genesee. Yes. 
Well, thanks for stopping by, Rachel. Thank you. It's good to chat. And thanks to all of you for listening. You can find us at goldcoastdoulas.com. These moments are golden. Golden.